Exposure is perhaps the most important concept in photography. After all, the word photography itself is derived from words meaning drawing with light. So the amount of light your camera is exposed to is absolutely fundamental to the process. There are three factors that affect exposure, and they may not be the three you're expecting. There's aperture value that defines the size of the hole through which your camera sees the scene. There's shutter speed that defines how long the shutter stays open to let light in. And there's the amount of light in your scene. Together, these three factors determine how much light hits your sensor. And that's arguably the most significant factor in terms of image quality, how much light you've captured to describe your scene. That's not quite the end of the story though. Your camera also has a setting called ISO that dictates how light or dark the final image ends up. So in low light, you can increase the ISO value and make your image look lighter. But bear in mind, increasing the ISO doesn't increase how much light you captured. It just tries to make up for the fact that you couldn't capture more. As the light level falls, your images will get noisier because of the lack of light. ISO can't really do anything about that, but it's not the cause of the noise. Both shutter speed and aperture value have some very specific impacts on what the final image looks like. Once you understand these effects, you can start to learn about the balancing act required to get as much exposure as possible, and then use ISO to make up any difference.